Okay, class, we've already learned about two pests. We learned about the Varroa mite, and we learned about the Tracheal mite in earlier sections of the course. Now we're going to talk about other pests, one of which is the wax moth. Now the wax moth is pretty successful distribution throughout the world because they prey upon the wax of bee colonies. So what they do is they move into the bee colonies that are not occupied by bees. So these are empty cavities or empty equipment, okay? Because they like to eat the leftover honey and they like to eat the wax. So they'll move into an empty beehive, lay their eggs, and pupate in the equipment, okay? So they actually burrow into the wood and lay their pupa to uh, form these cocoons and then metamorphosis into the adult wax moth. The adult wax moth then leaves the hive and reproduces outside the hive, and then the female looks for a hive to move back into. The adult doesn't even eat. Only the young eat, and what they eat is hive products. They don't eat the bees, they don't bother to brood, but they eat the hive products. So they only move into empty bee equipment or very weak hives that cannot remove them. So they'll move in and eat the wax and the honey. All right, let's talk about prevention and removal. All right, once they move in, they're easy to get out, okay? All you gotta do is put them in the sun. So you take the, the hive body that the wax moths have moved into, place it into direct sunlight. So basically you take the top and bottom off the hive body and set it out so the sun can shine right through it. The larva can't stand this. In fact, they burn up, dry out, and die. You can also put the individual frames into the freezer for 24 hours. That will also kill the larvae. If a very small patch of silk is seen in your equipment, you can even put that equipment on top of a very strong colony. They will move up, kill all the larvae by consuming them, and clean out all of the silk. Okay. Now, the, your best bet is to prevent them from ever getting in. So to prevent them from ever getting in, store your equipment somewhere that the moths can't get to. In a garage that you keep sealed or covered real well with a tarp. Or sometimes you can just, if you just stack a hive body on top of a hive body, on top of a hive body, and then use a lid for the top and a lid for the bottom, it's completely sealed and the wax moth cannot get in. All right, if you have any questions about wax moth, please address them into the forums.